As much as some of us in the networking industry wouldn't like to admit, no one actually cares about the network. Now, maybe that seems like a provocative statement to you, but think about what we use the network for. We don't use it for its own sake. But to access all manner of services, usually in the form of applications, hosted somewhere else in the world, whether that's across town or across an ocean. Kentik's visibility of over-the-top services and CDN analytics go a layer above the packets on the wire to give you a deeper understanding of what's happening with actual application activity on your network and over the public internet. It's kind of like the difference between just seeing more data and understanding why a network is behaving a certain way or an application is performing the way that it is. So with me today is Steve Muse, a solutions architect at Kentic focused on the service provider space and a subject matter expert in Kentic's OTT and CDN analytics. Steve, thanks for joining me today. And, uh, and before we see the Kentic solution in action, would you mind briefly explaining what over-the-top services are and why having an understanding of OTT is so important today? Well, in short, OTT uh, stands for over the top. But what it really means is that it's the applications that all our families use all day long. So it's the over the top video services like Netflix and Hulu and YouTube, social media like Facebook and so forth, all the applications that we use day to day. Now, the reason why they're classified as they are is because before the traditional access providers would be providing the video services to the subscriber. And that would have been done over your linear transmission through cable or fiber or some other mechanism. Uh, now that the delivery of this content is all coming from the IP side of it, we consider that over the top, over the top of the cable, right? So why it's so important today is because now as time has marched on, the consolidation of this traffic has really come from fewer and fewer total traffic sources uh, provided by some smaller number of CDNs. Whereas uh, years ago, content sources were hundreds of thousands varied across the entire internet. It's very been very much consolidated. So now understanding how a particular application is delivered to your network becomes so much more critical because at the end of the day, it's going to provide a, a reduction in total uh, support costs in terms of uh, phone calls into your support centers and things like that. And having a real strong understanding of how these services map to your physical network infrastructure becomes increasingly more important uh, to reduce those support costs. All right. Well, that makes sense to me. I mean, I get... I get the importance of why we need a deeper understanding of how applications are being delivered over the network from a technical perspective, quality of experience. But you also mentioned cost, which is something that I think many engineers like myself forget about sometimes. So can you explain to me what Kentic is doing specifically to solve this problem? What are we doing to give visibility into over-the-top services and analytics of content delivery networks? Well, traditionally, this type of visibility was, was obtained by using things like DPI, deep packet inspection. And DPI's uh, forte was being able to look deep into a packet to understand the performance of uh, that particular application that was running over the wire. Uh, DPI was very capital intensive. Um, it's very support intensive. Like it's it's a, it's a major uh, major up uh, uplift to to support. Um, and it doesn't necessarily tie the application to your network or infrastructure more broadly. Uh, DPI is a point in time, uh, point in place solution. What Kentic does is we utilize some data sources that you're likely already collecting on the network, such as network flow data, BGP data, SNMP data, and then adding in additional layers on top of that, like DNS telemetry, to allow us to give you that, that mapping uh, to those applications that are so critical to uh, running today's businesses, but more importantly, tie it to that infrastructure so that your support teams can really understand how they're being delivered to you. Okay, so then Kentic gives us the visibility that we need into OTT services, but without the unnecessary and heavy lift and cost of capturing and processing every single packet, which is what you do with DPI. Uh, is that right? That's all right. Yeah, you're likely already collecting most of those data sources if you're a cable operator, an access operator, or even backbone operator. So those data sources already exist in the network. They're likely already being collected. So it's just a matter of bringing them all together within the Kentic portal to be able to unlock that layer of visibility that's become so important in today's operations. Okay, but Steve, I know that DPI is pretty much mandatory for certain types of visibility, like doing a forensics analysis after a security breach. So does that mean we're missing? Does that mean that we're missing information if we're not doing DPI? 
Depending. Um, so typically, Kentic operates off of s- sampled NetFlow data. So we're sampling one out of n um, number of flows. So uh, on a very small layer, we could potentially be losing some information. But more broadly, if we're pe- uh, sampling very large amounts of data, we'll still likely be able to capture a lot of that information as well. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. And the reality is, I know from my experience, when you sample data from such a large data set, in this case, millions and millions of packets, I know that we're actually getting a statistically very accurate picture of what's going on in spite of not capturing every single packet. So, so Steve, this has been a really helpful uh, conversation so far, but would you walk us through the Kentic solution in action? Yeah, absolutely. Here in the Kentic interface, we have dedicated workflows for understanding our CDN and OTT traffic. Here in the CDN analytics workflow, we have the ability to understand how much traffic is being delivered by our CDNs, our content delivery networks. And if those content delivery networks are offering dedicated embedded caches that we have installed in our network, we can measure the performance of those caches. So in cases like Netflix, who has a defined set of library, um, they have very high cache efficiency, so they can provide a lot of their content from their caches. Whereas other cache providers have much more dynamic traffic, so their efficiency tends to be a little bit lower. Um, these are example networks, but they you know give you a rough approximation of the global performance of each of these caches. But more importantly, we can give you a breakdown of traffic by all of these different uh, content delivery networks, whether it be Apple, Akamai, Fastlay, et cetera. So if we can drill into Akamai, we can see uh, the all the information that we have about Akamai, how many different ASNs, their peering DB information. But more importantly, uh, how are we getting this content delivery uh, from them? Is it coming from caches? Is it coming from our transit connections via IX ports or pre-private peering? How is that traffic making it to our network? And then also the ability to tie it directly to our infrastructure. Which router port is it coming in? Is it coming in over transit? Is it coming over IX ports, et cetera? And then break that down by city and, and or, or network site and, and our parlance, right? And then also give you the ability to drill in even further to give you uh, which sources, uh, what OTT sources are being delivered and giving you some rough approximation of performance per content delivery network. Now, from here, the question usually we get asked is, well, that's it's really nice to be able to see how the CDN traffic is delivered to us. But more importantly, what are the services that are being offered from these content delivery networks? And here we have a dedicated workflow for that called uh, OTT service tracking. Steve, if I can interrupt, I have a quick question for you. I'm seeing some really interesting information on the screen here. So what specific data sources are you using to populate these graphs and charts? Yeah, Phil, typically we're using uh, four different data sources. We use uh, the base layer of information as IP NetFlow. Uh, On top of NetFlow, that gives us information about the volumes of traffic. On top of NetFlow, we do things like SNMP metadata, which gives us information about how the network is built. BGP routing data, which gives us the internet context, and then DNS telemetry. So we understand what services the customers are actually requesting from the network. Once we have that four layer of information, we can start to give you a breakdown of the traffic by three uh, effective major categories. First, uh, the, the the category of the traffic, whether it be video, uh, social networking, gaming, uh, software updates, things like that. Um, which providers are providing those services, uh, whether that be Netflix, Microsoft, Sony, Facebook, you know, the, the, the aggregators of all this. And then what are the individual services that are being delivered? So if we were to look at the Kentic interface here, we can see bra- our broad categories, video gaming. We have a histogram so we can understand, our, do we have a peak? Is something out of the ordinary? But I can also drill into it and show you uh, the ranking of the services within this category. And it's really interesting here, too, because our access providers who are providing their own video over IP services, Kenta can map those services and, and display them in the ranking here so that uh, if you're cable company X, you can have your cable company X video services ranked right next to YouTube so you can understand how you rank compare to uh, these other video services. Uh, in terms of the provider, you know, a number of these providers uh, will have multiple different video services. Facebook's an example of that. Facebook provides v- Facebook video, Facebook social media, Instagram, Messenger. 
Oculus. These are individual services that we can pull out of the the total flow to to, to Facebook, and then be able be able to give you some information about them. And then there's the actual individual services that are coming in over the top. Uh, and a great example of that uh, is Disney Plus. Disney Plus is a new service that was created a handful of years ago, and it created a specific problem for Kentic Access customers where the uh, Disney Plus didn't really tell everybody ahead of time which content delivery networks they were going to be delivering this new service from. But everybody knew that this service was going to be a huge amount of traffic that they were going to have to deal with. Well, Kentic gave them the ability on day one of the service being launched to show them the breakdown of the different content delivery networks that were del- going to be delivering that traffic to the access network. So these customers, Kentic customers who had the OTT workflow enabled, were immediately able to reach out to these content delivery networks to provision the extra capacity that they needed to be able to safely handle this new service that was going to be a very large volume of traffic. So in our example network here on the screen, we can see that Lumen, Akamai, Fastly, and Edgecast, Verizon caches or uh, CDNs were able to provide that traffic and, and our customers were able to provision additional capacity with them very quickly. Um, once we understand what content uh, delivery network is providing that over the top service, we can then map that OTT service to the physical infrastructure. This allows us to understand, uh, does Disney Plus come in the same way that Hulu comes in? Or in the case of, say, Microsoft, where they have multiple services and they're getting maybe some phone complaints about, uh, you know, uh, Xbox gaming uh, having performance problems. But uh, when they go and look at their uh, interconnects with the Microsoft network, they don't see any issues. But then they realize by utilizing the Kentic workflow that Xbox Live is coming in over an embedded cache and not through traditional interconnect with Microsoft. So it allows them to see on an individual service how it maps to the actual network. Steve, I have another question for you. You explain how we can identify types of traffic, providers, volume, some information about how we're ingesting it. But are there any indicators of performance that you can show us? Absolutely. So for each individual OTT service, Kentic has the ability to look down into the subscriber level and give you a rough approximation of performance, looking at bit rates. And we can do that by taking the total volume and and giving you rough approximation by looking at the number of subscribers actively being served by the service right now. So here we can see for for Disney Plus, uh, this particular point in time, we have a rough performance per subscriber of some particular bit rate, and that gives us a, a rough idea of what the performance is for this particular OTT service. Great. Thanks, Steve. This has been really a great walkthrough of Kentic's OTT and CDN analytics solution. And I think it's clear today, now more than ever, an awareness of what's happening on our networks from an application perspective, not just seeing more individual data points, is more important now than it's ever been uh, for making smart technical decisions for sure and also business decisions. So I do appreciate how you explain that, yes, there are absolutely valuable insights that we can glean from Kentic's OTT and CDN analytics, which we need for successful network operations. But there's also a great amount of business value that we can mine out of the data to help make those more abstract business decisions about how we manage traffic. So very helpful, thanks again. So to learn more about Kentic's service provider analytics solution, visit kentic.com slash analytics, and you can always reach out to your local Kentic representative as well. Thanks very much.